Today, we're diving headfirst into some seriously cool news, the Descent MK3 range by Garmin. It's been creating quite the buzz, and we've got all the juicy details you won't want to miss. But before we jump into the deep end of this exciting revelation, let's rewind a bit and chat about what Garmin has cooked up in the past. In 2020, Garmin introduced the Descent MK2 and MK2i, the flagship models in their Specialized series designed exclusively for divers. These high-performance timepieces were created for underwater enthusiasts who demanded precise metrics and specialized features from their wearables. Later, in May 2021, they unveiled the MK2S, a more wrist-friendly version to cater to a wider audience, including outdoor adventurers seeking robust tracking capabilities. Whether you're a professional diver or an explorer of the great outdoors, the Descent MK3 promises to be a versatile tool for all your needs. Traditionally, Garmin followed a two-year release cycle for their Descent series. However, the absence of the MK3 has sparked industry chatter, with some speculating that production challenges, potentially worsened by the global chip shortage, may have caused the delay. Typically, Garmin unveils new models from this series during the latter part of the year. For those interested in diving but looking for a more budget-friendly option, Garmin introduced the G1 in March 2022. Priced at nearly half the cost of the MK2S, the G1 incorporates much of the same technology but in a more economical casing with a lower resolution display. It even offers a solar variant for those concerned about battery life. Unlike the Specialized Descent MK series, the G1 serves as a versatile all-rounder, not limited to underwater use. Now let's get to the exciting part. The latest information comes from the Garmin support site in Mexico, where eagle-eyed enthusiasts spotted four different variants of the Descent MK3 range. The MK3, MK3i, MK3s, and MK3si, each identified by unique product numbers. Unfortunately, we don't have detailed information about their functionality or specs just yet, but as is tradition, these new models are expected to build upon the strengths of their predecessors. For example, we anticipate an upgrade to the heart rate sensor, possibly to the Elevit 5, the latest generation. This could potentially allow the watch to track ECG on demand and even monitor skin temperature. Furthermore, some of the new features introduced with the VivoActive 5 and Venue 3, like the sleep coach and nap tracking, are likely to make an appearance. So, when can we expect to see these new watches in action? Well, the Descent MK3 range could potentially make its debut around mid-November. However, if it misses this window, a launch during the holiday shopping season might be unlikely. Another promising opportunity is CES 2024 in early January, which is typically a prime time for new wearables to make their debut. That's all the information we have for now, but stay tuned for updates on this intriguing development. We'll be sure to keep you in the loop with all the latest news and updates. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.